Primo's honey, stream the language. In the introduction to using elk diaphragm mouth calls, we talked about finding the proper fit, making sure you got a call that fits your individual mouth. Then we talked about cow sounds in the next video and how to make that high slurred to a low. Now we're going to talk about bull sounds. I'm going to use the same call, which is the hyperestrus call, and I'm going to use a tube. This is the bullet bugle. I'm going to remove the mouthpiece. You can use any tube to accentuate, accent the sound that you're making. You can also make cow sounds in the tube, which adds a little bit of a nasal quality to it, which can work when nothing else seems to work. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the cow sound that we learned on the second video into the call. I'm not going to put it right up to my lips, but out from my lips. Just gives it a little different sound. Now, to make bull sounds, the first thing you want to do is learn to growl. Say the word or sound, er, you are, er. Put the call in your mouth with your tongue laying up against the reed. You'll vibrate that vocal cord for er, and it will vibrate the sound going under the reed and will add that growl quality. To it. Next, you want to learn how to whistle or bugle. The, most people bugle too long. Two seconds, two and a half seconds, maximum for a bugle. Start out with a growl. <laughs> Quit making the UR, go into the whistle, and to end the bugle, you've got to drop your tongue away from the reed. I'm gonna do it without the two. <laughs> is the ending. <laughs> then to chuckle, you're gonna take your tongue and press it up against the reed, blow air, and drop it down. And keep repeating that. <laughs> and you just slam your tongue up against the call and blow air. I'm gonna do the complete bugle with the growl, the bugle, and the chuckle. <laughs> Next, the video that we do, we're gonna talk about some more advanced sounds that you can do using the mouth call.